Day 8, Nutcracker Adventure, 24 unique videos, one different video every day leading up to Christmas. This video is sponsored by Energetics. They create amazing dance wear like this outfit. I'm gonna leave in the description of this video the link for this outfit and also for the entire website so you go there and have a better look to all of their products. Today I'm gonna be mentioning some tips for acting for dancers specifically. And we're gonna use the bottle of the key mouse as example for these tips. Tip number one, you really have to know the storyline of the ballet that you're housing or you're gonna dance because if you don't know what's going on, you will never know how to express. We don't really talk on ballet. We don't talk unless the choreographer says so, and most of the classical ballet don't really use verbal explanations. Therefore, you need to have an idea of what is the main storyline of the ballet that you're dancing in order to know what's going to happen and how to express that. Because for example, during the Nutcracker, there is so many things happening once it's Clara receiving a present, so Clara acts really happy. Oh, I'm receiving this present. Is it for me? It's a surprise. How do you express surprise? You need to be able to translate that into movements. But then the toy gets broken. So how does she feel when the toy is broken? That's quite easy for us to do, to translate into actions. But what about the bottle of the mouse skin? Have you ever been a mouse? Not really. Have you ever been in a bottle? I hope you've never been in one. I've never been in one. So how do we act with that? So imagine that we are in the bottle and I have my sword in my hand. Can you imagine that I'm going to attack someone? I would be dead by then. So the moments have to be sharp. It has to be with accent. We shouldn't be <laughs> laughing because it's a bottle. There is a fight going, there is power, there is accent and you need to be fast and dynamic. Yes, it's really important that you study some different type of pantomimes to use in ballet. A uh, pantomime is basically how to say hi or how to say I love you. You need to learn a few of them, if not all of them, if you really want to understand a better way to communicate in ballet. Have you noticed this dancer's makeup when they are going to act in a theater? It's the makeup small, not much of a makeup, just very natural. No, right? It's really big. The line of the eyes are really big because the scenario is so huge and there is so much light and so much going on that the makeup has to be big, to be noticeable, to make factions of the face, to make expressions. It's the same with actions. You really have to make big movements. You just cannot arrive. Let's take again the bottle of the key mouse and being like, yes, I want to kill you. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that, to do that. No one saw it. That person that is sitting right in the last seat of the stage didn't see it. You need to really show your sore and show up and move. And the accent and the gesture has to be huge, has to be big. And I hope that your teacher is asking you that as well in the classroom, because when you have like five rows of students in front of you, you're the one in the back and you're just doing, don't you, please, don't you, please. No one can see you. If you want someone to notice you, you have to do big movements. Now you need to make sure the transition between one expression of one movement to the other one needs to be clear. Everyone needs to understand that you got surprised, but then you said, thank you, or so pretty, but you kind of say, oh, thank you, so pretty. What's going on? What happened? We just like so fast. You need to make clear what are you saying and when you're saying it. Uh, there is a video from Katrin Morgan, which is great on tips that she's giving as a ballet actor. And the first thing that she keep mentioning the entire time is, you have to create your dialogue. Find the main storyline of the story that you're gonna be dancing, that ballet, a story of pantomimes, but you need to create your own dialogue. You kind of wait that you get to the scene to then, okay, so what am I actually doing? What am I telling? Just, you have to practice a lot inside your mind, very carefully, what do you mean by which step? How are you gonna say this? How are you gonna translate in actions, in movements? So you have a lot to think about now. 
I hope that the next classes that we have tomorrow and the next day and the next day, you're going to apply all these tips because it's going to be really exciting. Thank you for joining me and I'm going to see you tomorrow.